Hi, I'm Dr. Maisha Akbar. I'm an assistant professor of speech and drama, and I'd like to tell you a little bit today about medieval plays. There are three different types of plays I'm going to tell you about today, as well as the interesting way that they were staged. The first type of medieval play that I'm going to talk to you about is liturgical plays. Liturgical plays refers to the fact that most medieval plays, which were staged between the 5th and 15th centuries, were staged in churches. So liturgical plays were plays that were based in and around the church solely. The second type of medieval play that I'd like to share with you are religious plays. There are three different types of religious plays that I'd like to talk to you about today. The three different types of plays are miracle plays, mystery plays, and morality plays. And although these plays are, were all based on the Bible, they were not necessarily staged inside the church like liturgical plays. The third type of play uh, from the medieval period that I'd like to talk to you about are secular plays. And these plays, unlike liturgical and religious plays, they were not based on religion. And uh, the most common and the most popular form of secular play that was staged in the medieval period were farces. And these were plays that made fun of the clergy and again, were not based on religion. An interesting uh, dynamic about medieval plays were the ways that they were staged. Medieval plays were generally staged um, in either a fixed way or on movable stages, which were also referred to as pageants. So just as the name indicates, fixed plays were uh, in one location, a set location, and they were uh, more elaborate than the uh, movable plays. And then again, movable plays were more or less uh, plays on wheels or stages on wheels. So today we've talked about the three different types of medieval plays staged. I'm Dr. Maisha Akbar, and this was an introduction to medieval plays.